Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Bloodborne Part 16. Now, last video, we just made it to the Forbidden Woods. And now, I'm gonna unequip this. I've changed my armor set and weapons. So that way we can go into the back, into the Forbidden Woods. But, before we do anything else... Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go back to the Forbidden Woods. Sorry about that. My bad. But I'm only gonna do a certain part of it. Because this place can, is really big and you can get lost in there really easily. And I believe there is one Wandering Madness down here, so... Hmm. Sorry, it's um 4.01 in the morning and it's... Yeah. <laughs> it kind of really passed my bedtime. I am going to do these this video for you because y'all guys are really special to me. And here we are. Usually we came from up there, so I'm gonna go back up there. Take that. Careful of the oil guy up here somewhere. Oh. Okay, he got me in that time. What are you doing hiding up there, buddy? Oil urn. Okay, so since I've been hit with an oil urn, I need to be careful on fire attacks now until it wears off. Let's see. As I said in the video, this place can get big. Now, take me on. One shot. I will take that. And there's two items here. Madman's Knowledge. An adapted blood gemstone. Nice. i go back running over here. And fire, remember we got hit with the fire and unfortunately it doesn't do anything for us because I guess the fire urn had worn off. Which is good. That means that we don't we're not gonna be able to take um crazy damage from fire unless we get hit with another uh, oil urn. So on the way back over here, there's nothing here. Except for oil throne urn guy right there. Yeah, this is just back spots of the forest. Nothing there. Except for right there. That's where we just came through. So we are going to go back. And we are going to continue back down. And since we're here, nothing here. Guess what? There's a door here. But you sure already know. Does not open from this side. Crow. Bad crow. Go on. I'll take the pebble and move around here to encounter this. Antidotes. The game is telling you something. There's gonna be enemies here. That's gonna do poison. You got this guy. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. That guy will shoot you, actually. Nope. Wrong. Quicksilver bullets. Now, there's one thing that you guys need to be careful. 
Let me get out my monocular. If I can find it. Here we go. We try to go over there. That right there will hit you. It'll come swinging back and forth. And then once it's done, it's, it's going to go off the hinge and come right here. So if you're standing right here, it's going to hit you. So you don't want to get caught with that. But tw uh, we got that. Blood twin stone shard. Step here. <laughs> So yeah, there it goes. It went ran off of there. So okay, so oh, maybe we could get to continue on. Let's see, can we go? No. Go off. Not right there. Need more lighter. There we go. Barbecue Blood vials Okay, so There's gonna be guys over here, but we're gonna head off in this direction a little bit more later on First thing guy guys want to do is take care of these guys Molotovs away He's not that strong no more. That's when you want to be careful of too, the dogs. I miss. Get rid of this guy. The reason why you want to get rid of the oil urn guys because you do super crazy damage to you. Nope. That guy will come over here. Nope. Take his item. Nope. Pick up the items. This guy is smart. Help me. Oh God. Okay. And we got blood vials. We got this item right here. Thick cold blood. And I would say that is it for this area. Try and move on to the next part. But be careful, there is an, a scrambler or a um, wandering madness in this direction. It's company by crows. Take that. And you can go ahead and just continue on. And there's nothing around here. Obviously. And we just came here for this messed up thing right here. And it's kind of dark. Let me see. Let me equip my hunter's torch for a little bit more light. Now, you gotta be careful. There's this dude right there. Yep. I'll take your item and take this. Good. We're good to go. We're not gonna go down there just yet. We're gonna go over here. Let's see. 
Okay, so this area we don't want to go. Sorry, my bad. That one is going to be in more in the later. So what we want to do is go back over here. Go all the way over here. Nothing here. And we're going to go for that item. Yes, there's a lot of gravestones here. And yes, you can just simply walk down here as well. Make sure to collect this. Thick cold blood. Money. Uh oh, I think I got stuck with the tombstones. Walk down here. That right there is another trap. Right above you. That still happens. Don't go near this thing. Reason why is it will hurt you when it's moving. After that, you can just pretty much walk on it. Over here we have an NPC. And we also have dogs. So be very quiet. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay, now this person right here will give you a key item. Oh, under a feast, our glory be. You know not the value you possess, but more for pity. The hours of the night are many, and the beast more than I can count. A veritable hunt unending. Not even death offers solace. And the blood imbibes you. A most frightful fate. Oh my. But I'm willing to do you a kindness. Step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. Yes, I'm unquestionably certain. <laughs> okay, so we get the tonsil stones. And in case you're wondering, of all the Souls games, you remember that one character, like over in Dark Demon Souls, you got patches. And guess what? He's basically him. So you don't want to go over there because there's going to be a guy right there that's going to close the gate on you. Go in, yeah. Got dogs here. Yep, you gotta do this. Apparently, the flamethrower doesn't reach through them. Sorry, pooch. Got no other choice. Now, here you want to go down later. You may be wondering, well, why? Well, because down there you need armor that is actually poison resistance and very strong armor. It's because you're going to encounter a lot of um, garbage down there. We got crows here. So, got a dog. Okay, that dog just literally just ran off to the, uh, right in front of me. You got a kidnapper back here. Behind this building. You use some type of jit, uh, jit, jitsu. Kidnap that. I'll take that. And that. And that. Can't go up there. Of 
go all around. Nothing around here except for that right there. We're not gonna go there yet. But we can, however, go in here. Beast Roar! Yes. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Okay. Go sneak up behind this guy. Goodbye. Okay, so now what you want to do is go around here, up the ladder. There's crows up here, so be careful. Bring out the flamethrower. Goodbye, birdies. You get the white church stuff. So, yes. Here. This would grant more better, um. What's it called? Resistance. But what I am looking for, yes, yeah, we got two pairs of surgical gloves. This is what we're wearing right now. So, altar of the healing church, special church doctors. These doctors are superior to the black, well, whatever it is, hunters, and specialists, and. Just think of them as like specialists and just normal doctors that wear the normal, you know, how you got the doc regular doctors and specialists and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, so um, really nothing special in, in defense or anything like that. Okay, let's see what else. So yeah, that's the dude that just, uh, was going to close the gate. So if you got any closer to th that point right there, he was just going to straight up close the gate on you. Mm, let's see. There's that guy. Comes out of nowhere. Now, we're going to go down here just for a little bit. That's death. Yeah, there's Mo Molotov guy right here. That's why I said you gotta be careful because we're not gonna head down here just yet. Apparently, either that dude is do dancing or he's doing a running man. I'm guessing he's trying to make his way over here, but he can't. Yeah, he's stuck. First person. Down for the count. Okay, well... I'm gonna go back and see if I missed anything. I don't think I should. Yeah, if you activate that switch, that door will close. Oh yeah, don't forget to go inside here. Blue elixir. I believe there's another house. Go into. I'm trying to remember where it's at. No, I don't think it's there. No, this is not it. Okay. Okay, well, let's see. We talked to Patches. And. Of course, you can obviously drop down there, but I wouldn't recommend it until later. Let's 
so we're gonna go ahead and continue on over here and I'm gonna still do the um looking around because I believe I forgot something this is the village what I smell <laughs> Pungent blood cocktails, quicksilver bullets, blood vials. That guy was sleeping, obviously. I'll take blood vials. Anything more in here? Over here. You want to be careful here because there is part of this that's going to break. There's obviously that thing right there. Hey. You want to use Molotovs here. Go for that guy. Sure, you step all around. Hey, it's right, right here. How rude! Take him out. Nope, I don't think so. Silver bullets. Go in here. Nothing in here. But, you can just pull this guy's item right off of... Out of nowhere, actually. That's where you'd be able to drop down. And... Let's see. Nothing in here. Just roll our way out of here. Like I said, be careful of that. We'll head down there later. But in the meantime, there he is. Take him out. Yeah, you got that. So we're gonna go down there later. Right now, the reason why you want to be careful of this is because of that. You can see right through it. There goes the birds. Pick up this guy's antidote. And there's nothing else much around here except for those birds and then climb right back up so that's just a little touch of that before we do anything else I'd like to go and revisit a couple of NPCs to go talk to Lil Siska or I don't know if I'm saying her name right anymore Excuse me. Be careful of that. It's the big bonfire. There's that direction. This direction for the um for what's it called? Wandering madness. And then there's this area. Yeah, obviously this is the wrong area that you can go to, but um, that's like further down in the level. Let's see, pop one of these. Mm, 
yes, there's more of these wooden planks to fall down to. Wouldn't recommend it. You start to notice the, the uh, similarity oh. in this area. And that dude must be in there. Don't go in anywhere near that. Or those muck things. This water right here is in fact poison. I guess not. He mauled off his own friend. And he's way up there. Help you, you're the one that Molotov your own friend in the water, man. The poisonous water. But, I'm surprised it didn't... Um, I wonder if it's because of our status, though. Our poison resistance is... 255. Along with... Um, oh, wait, no. 204. But 215. So I wonder if that has to do anything about it. Oh well. Moving on! So yeah, there's nothing here. And... See, it's right, we're right back where that village is. So... There's the bonfire area. Nothing else here. Going back up. There's the first booby trap. A bridge. And the lantern. We're gonna go ahead and take the lantern back to the hunter's dream. And then we're going to visit the um, NPCs Yusiska and Gilbert which means we're gonna go straight into hello there we go first floor sick room Yes, the very first lantern. So... Once this thing is finished loading... We should be able to continue on. Here we are. And here we go and further the quest line. Oh, hello. You find any survivors? Or only beasts? Tell anyone who's human about Yusefka's clinic. I will take proper care of them. They're in your hands. And soon, mine. If you find any, you can assure, please. Trying to pan the camera down, but I can't. But yeah, she has a weapon. So it's not really a, a good or smart thing to leave people in that direction. Oops. Now we're gonna go talk to Gilbert. Don't see anything different? Besides the moon. Ah, uh, you're gonna wake up the neighbors, man. Okay. 
climb up the ladder. Man. Okay, and here we are. Have I heard of Bergenworth? Hmm. Afraid I can't say that I have. The locals aren't apt to share any local history. Okay, so his time is running out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and that will be it for now. And then we'll continue back in the Forbidden Woods in the next video. So, yeah, um, apparently he was running out of time. And, yeah. Alright, and then that was, concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with new content. And I'll go ahead and get started on the next video where we will continue on in the forbidden, forbidden forest. Thank you for watching and you guys and girls have a good day. And see you soon.